Hey guys and welcome back again to my City Builders channel here on YouTube. This is Ben playing City Skylines in my Westfield region or city. Um, yeah, first of all, today I want to wish you a happy new year. Um, all the best for 2021. Um, hopefully this year is going to be a little bit be uh, better than last year. Um, it was kind of weird with all the COVID stuff going on. Well, but it is what it is. You can't can't really change it. But hopefully you're all doing good and are well enough. And yeah, for the last year, I would like to thank all of you, um, all of my followers and all of the guys who, guys and gals who subscribe to my channel. Thanks a lot for this and I really appreciate it that you follow me closely here on building a couple of towns in city skylines and yeah, for all your comments and everything else. So thanks a lot for that and well, let's begin with playing city skylines today. Um, well, as you can see, I removed my whole industrial area during the last session mm, this is currently i think episode 34 mm, so i removed the whole industrial area over here so there's there are basically no industries left in town mm, except for this huge farm farming area and my ore production area here um, so basically we just have offices located all over town, um, cause we had a high demand regarding that a couple of, um, episodes ago. So I had to fulfill this and but currently I think it's mostly about taking care of the high demand of residential zones. And that's the reason why I'm. I included a new ferry stop here and an, a new ferry line. Actually, I think maybe, yeah, maybe I won't have to have to stop here. Oh, maybe I could go for just using this as. No, I'll leave it as realistic as possible because a dock is not necessarily a stop as well. So I think that's good. I had Oriental Street built here during the last episode and now I'm about to expand everything uh, like to the, mm, what is it? It's maybe in the west, the east side of the river. So I'm beginning with a basic road layout. I want to follow um, the layout of the river or the yeah, natural surroundings as well as I can, as well as possible, just to make sure that I'm keeping things again here as realistic as possible. Just curious how far I have to go to make this. Um, have this follow the, the existing road, but I think that's actually not far enough yet. Or maybe I just can't follow because I think up until here, it's basically straight. And then I decided to have ah, that's looking good, almost good. Yeah, but I think that's okay to go with. Mm. And in the last episode, I also decided to add in my water support from 
um, the other side of the river. Um, maybe that's gonna have to change. I think it's not that unusual to have water pipes run through the river beds um, to a different side of your town. Um, yeah, but also um, I just wanna wanna use as little capacities and as little mm, yeah resources as possible. So I'm adding in for now. I think this is gonna be my main street. Oh, maybe I should. I should already think. It's upgrading this trolley bus tram tracks yeah maybe I should already start upgrading these to a huge tram track line a separate one I'm just curious whether the tram will run like back and forth on the same track here or if there are actually two track lines so that's closed now oh no it's two lines that are separated but that's looking good so far and i think i also need a new like depot just wondering where to put it why well, I could easily put it here uh, but therefore I'd need to upgrade this road as well just to make sure that the tram can actually go from there to mm, curious whether that works I'm not sure mm, but probably yeah this piece is something we don't actually need to track so following here so that's pretty good that's good for now um to allow my citizens to cross these areas on a regular basis i'm adding in a couple of mm, hold on a sec a couple of lines or roads in between here just to make sure that they can cross whenever they have to and over here i'm changing my existing layout a little bit to something more well i wouldn't say natural one a more natural approach but to something that i can utilize a bit better by just having straight lines here so also adding in a few more water pipes yeah and recently um there's one thing I wanted to mention here. Um, I've been asked recently why I'm using warm water lines, even though I'm not playing in any, any winter landscape. Um, well, as a matter of fact, I've been adding these a long while ago. And since my 
initial plan was to have a as realistic as possible like city layout in my town i also wanted to make sure that i'm following a couple of rules that well maybe they don't really make sense for this area or this region because i know that the um like the weather hardly changes and well in this region it will only rain um if i set the oh that's kind of strange yeah if i leave like the weather i'm pausing the day night cycle and there you can see i have not activated the rain here um so it won't rain in this region but it will for sure definitely never snow and that's um yeah something that is maybe a bit yeah this is actually one kind of well i wouldn't call it flaw of this game it's just i th i would have loved if the developers had decided that you can have something like seasons in your town in your city um because well i think it would have been a bit more challenging for the players to consider not the uh well not only the type of landscape you're having but also the um amount of snow and like hot weather cold weather things like that would have been really nice to have and to be honest um i would be totally excited if the developers would decide to publish um a new city skylines game sometime in the near future um because i think the w games where well, this game actually is from 2015 and in the meantime technology and games have developed so much that it would be really awesome to see like something new um in the city building genre because everything else that's currently published by uh, independent game studios and publishers is at least from my perspective is not really it can't really cope with um with the things that um city skylines can do of course because it's well i think many many months and years went into developing this game actually and for sure it wasn't easy so now it's just if in case you're wondering i'm just adding in a couple of um tram lines over here and not the um the big ones like over there um but a few smaller ones just to make sure that I can serve my citizens with trams and buses right away. So I'm first of all making sure that I do have tram tracks. Yeah, so how come? that you are not allowing me to put down now 
Uh, what is it? So I'm creating one line here. This will be like a circle line. It's just leading everyone through the whole town. And then in not the same positions, but in a few more variants, I'm adding in more stops or the other direction then it's about um, probably here there there's another one there goes another one First, I have to there, there, there. I just want to make sure that this line covers as much as possible. So now that's finished as well. The trams are going back and forth. My town. Then I'm using the opportunity now to have like police headquarters right in the middle of the city and have a hospital over here. Well, to make it fit, okay, that works. And the other thing is a fire station. I'm just adding it in here, even though it's a bit unnatural, but at least it covers all areas of the town. So let's set up a school here, there, probably there. And let's have a bigger school here and there. And one like public library. I could put one in here and uh, I don't want to have a modern technology institute yet there in this area and now I'm adding in some residential zones right at the river to offer them the best like living experience they can have. This should be a park. So I'm adding in a few more residential zones here and there and here as well. And here, close by the schools, right next to the schools. So I'm leaving this square as is. Over here, there should be a commercial 
sewn all over the place, like following my road layout, and then I'm adding in like a couple of offices. like over here. So, yeah. I think um, for now I let the game run and see how this part of town develops. And I'm also curious about one thing, and this is whether we will ever have cars in here uh, we already do have cars. Ah, it's just a police car. So this could be actually a traffic-free zone, except for, let's say, something like buses. I don't mind buses. Like a bus depot. I could put one down here. and add in a couple of bus stops as well, right next to the ferry, back to the tram line, to over here, then we should also make sure that the bus covers these areas that area, this one, that one. I'm just trying to add in a couple of more stops where currently no tram line is actually heading to. Yeah, and then you could go like back and forth to here. And then I'm curious what will happen because people are moving in already. Oh, that would be interesting. Having a traffic free part of town. So I'm not considering, first of all, I was considering whether I should build a, like a bridge over here to my new part of town, but currently I'm, I'm just wondering whether I should ever do that or not. So maybe if you would like to give me a hint or just let me know, would you like to keep this traffic free or not? I'd be really happy about it because, yeah, I think in one of the later episodes I might change it. It just depends a little bit on how things are developing in my town. Overall, so currently we are I'm losing a couple of citizens. Not having that much income at the moment. So I'm speeding up this process. Just to make sure whether, yeah, that I can see how this part of town develops over time. Really curious about that. But I'm wondering, I could add in a subway station. That would be possible, like, one like this here or uh, underground station over there and like one over here and then I'm connecting this line with 
this part here. I'm just curious. Okay, now things are working a bit better. This here and over here. I could maybe, maybe, maybe add in another one over there, connect it, and one over here, just to have this kind of cross connection so that the lines can easily go back and forth from one place to the other. And now I'm adding in um, what is it? Like a stop from here to there to there and completing the line so this should be enough for my public transportation for now. I have loads of buses here. And maybe I need to add in um, like this already grew a lot. Some smaller like commercial things here oh okay i shouldn't use that i just want to keep my commercial zones a bit farther away from um from my residential zones but on the other hand it's it's helpful to have these um, quite close by. Just adding in a few more offices now. Um, the reason for that is that as soon as you have um, like commercial zones close by the residential zones you are on the one hand um, fulfilling the residential's need for shopping opportunities like grocery stores and things like that but on the other hand you're causing a little bit of a few issues by um, having a noise pollution problem and if you want to make sure that this isn't that you're not running into issues uh, with that it's sometimes better to have um, yeah a park in between or if you're not having too close distance to um, your uh, let me see oh it's not in Hawthorne Hill will be my new park here so I'm 
expanding this area over from over here to up there down there so I'm pretty much covering all the brick zone brick area for the moment and I'm adding in at least I want to add in a, something like a side gate just wondering maybe I should remove that part of the fence no main gate but adding in a side gate here and I'm adding in the fence and repairing all gaps now and I'm even starting to lay things out a bit more nicely just follow the current um, design of the walkways on a bit more natural basis <laughs> and I should make sure that this Work like as a set like this here. This looks really nice already. So am I running into any issues here? No, I guess not. So, and then I'm adding in a couple of, well, I couldn't really say attractions, but this for sure is something people will like to have in a park like an info booth at the very beginning, like a huge, I don't like this chessboard, to be honest. I don't really like this, but well, I'm just curious how things will develop over time here. And I'm adding in a few more trees as well. At least in some of the locations here or some of the areas of the park to keep it a bit more natural. And after that, yeah, I guess I'm good. Good to go. It's really interesting. So um to have i'm curious am i having uh, maybe i should also make sure that we have a crematorium in this town as well then i want to have an elder care facility and a child health center here. So this lo does look really beautiful now. So I'm adding in a couple more trees, keep it as natural as possible and as beautiful as possible. Just to make sure that, oh, like this is something we should take care of really soon. 
solution for incarcerator. So I'm adding in a incarcerator over there. I'm just extending my road here a bit to make sure that I can add in like everything properly. And I don't need any big roads here. Uh, this is. Oh, I'm sorry. This was the wrong one. Just adding in this here. And so now the incarcerator over here. And I think soon my cars, my waste thing cars should follow soon. People are coming to town. And yeah, I'm curious. Yeah, at least 51 passengers. This is really nice to have. So I want to for now, I at least want to keep this like car free. Um, I only have an public transportation here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, it's good. I haven't removed it. Where is my dumb cars? Where are they? Where are these? Yeah, and I'm thinking about actually putting in like two lane roads with bicycles. I just have to make sure that I'm not destroying any of the um, tram tracks here because Ah, come on. Like my bus lane. Oh, this is this is a bit annoying. Like, where did you stop? Hey, where did you go to? I didn't see you. Yeah. It's closed now, so wherever it goes to, that's fine. I want to add a taxi stop, like having one over here. Oh, what is it? Is it a depot? No, the depot can go definitely somewhere else. Taxi depot can go here. I'm offering them a little bit of warm water, or at least water in general. Then I'm adding in a taxi stop like over here. One. over there and probably another one no nah, no other one yet um yeah it's just using the like over here that's fine curious what these public transportation hubs bus and metro monorail Boss hub. Whatever. I'm just thinking about adding in a not a winter market. Uh, let me have a quick look what I need to get. I need the high interest tower courthouse 
office of sea and skyscraper. So this one for sure. I could put that down. Like mm, somewhere like I should have maybe add in a road small road from here to to probably there then I can add in this tower easily over here Again, this should be where tram stops and bus stops, tram, bus, oh sorry, okay, I'm looking good, and what else do I need, I do need so I have this, I have, I don't have the courthouse yet, the high interest tower, so I'm thinking about adding in this. So not here, is this, yeah, this is the high interest tower. Oh, that would be huge. That would be really, really huge. So, is it wide enough? Not quite. Well, let's put it down here. And let's get rid of this building, this building, this building, this building, as well as this one and that one. Um, I'm moving you a bit further down and I'm making sure that this no longer, well, it no longer is that's massive. That's really, really massive because it overlooks like everything in town. It's so much overlooks like everything in town. Um, and I also want to make sure that I'm having this courthouse and having the oppression office. So I'm just having a look. No courthouse yet. There's the oppression office. Adding you in here. And where's the courthouse? There you go. That's looking, yeah, quite nice here. So I want to remove that road here, adding in the courthouse, like over there, and I'm using the anarchy mod just to make it a bit easier to put things in here, and you're a child care health center, so you will move there. That's fine. So I could think about adding in another park over there. Um, just to make sure that 
my citizens do have lots of room to enter and exit okay first again i have to zone it like island hill And then I can add in like this main gate here. Uh, sorry, this side gate. And I'm able to add in one nice and quick and easy path from here to there. Okay, but that's just a bit too high. So, mm. so that's nice here. And I should be able to have some, yeah, let's add another pathway. Um, like to over here and add in So, restrooms, I want to have an info booth as well, and the park cafe, something I so much love um, in Japan. And by the way, there's there's one other thing in Japan which is um, coming from, well, a European country is kind of, mm, let's say, I, w I wouldn't say strange, but it's so unusual. Um, because whenever you have to go and see the restrooms in Japan, you will never, and believe me, literally never have any problems with finding um, tidy and well kept restrooms anywhere in the country. So in every public park you have so many opportunities to go and see the restrooms without having to pay for it. So they don't charge you. Um, and this is so, well, astonishing, to be honest. And, and I'm so much ashamed. And maybe some of, some of you guys might understand it. I'm so much ashamed of our culture, of like charging people to go to the restrooms is like... I don't know. It's so ridiculous, I think. But that's what Yeah, what's actually happening in Germany and yeah, in the US in in so many other countries, Italy. Well, wow, it's ridiculous. If you have to go and you can't find you you can't even find a restroom which is a shame in general but this is sometimes so hard to find a restroom in Italy for whatever reason and yeah I really I'm so thankful for a Japanese culture 
and haven't been able to experience that to be honest because it's it's so yeah when you well should i should have added in i'm gonna stop here really am i completely ridiculous like Uh, so this so where does it go to? Ah, oh, this is sometimes really annoying. Oh, I don't want to create a new line. I want to extend my existing line. This can't be so difficult, huh? This can't be so difficult. Okay, sorry guys. This has to be removed for whatever reason. I'm not able to. I don't want to create a new line. Guys, no, I don't want to. Okay, let's lay out this bus line once again. And it's really annoying because I've already done so, but this occasionally happens for whatever reason when you're about to add in, let's say, something like a new building, something that changes your road layout for whatever reason. Uh, you can't really say that it's working properly. Um, in city skylines, well, sometimes it does, but most of the time, most of the times I'm having issues. And yeah, maybe for sure it could, could be that I'm doing something completely wrong here. Um, this could easily be the case so i'm not complaining but sometimes it's just hard 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 to take care of that and make sure that yeah you're covering or able to cover mm, all the existing areas of your town properly so again a new bus line following a new road route um so now i should be able from my perspective i should be able to add in like where is it the medical center or do we want to have something like a yoga garden or oh, why not so no longer where can I add in this medical center? Is it like here? No. Uh, so where is my medical center? Just wondering where this medical center is. Have I full? I think I fulfilled everything. Uh, da, 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 
Da-da. Except helicopters. So prob I should be able to find it here. But it's not the hospital. It's the not the laboratory, not the general hospital. I'm wondering. Dear Medical Center, where are you? I want to make sure that I'm building this. If I can, because then it would be way easier for me to support all like citizens. Achievements, so monuments, monuments, is it, it's a monument, but where, maybe I just haven't seen that. So there's nothing missing, I don't have the posh mall yet, this order office is, it's not over here. Aquarium. It's not the observation tower. Hmm. It's not the research center, robotics institute, electric car factory. Hmm. I'm just curious. Company headquarters. Like, I'm searching for it. There we go. There we go. Hmm. Where should I put you down? Let me think about this. I would like to say that okay I'm using the anarchy mod for now just to save a bit of time I'm removing this hospital and I'm moving this here to there and I'm moving this medical center to the middle of the road and I can sit here like but isn't it supporting all my town? Fifteen K per week. So could I probably remove, now I'm trying something like healthcare, could I probably remove? So let's imagine if I'm removing this here, what happens? Nothing happens. What happens here? Yeah, people are probably complaining, but you're... Oh, it's not supporting all of my town. Okay, I can see that. Uh, uh, okay, now I'm curious. Medical clinic. So I need, can I just put this back up a bit? 
this as well. I, I still need like the regular um, centers and like the little doctor's offices as well because this only medical center it doesn't completely cover my whole city and that's costing me a lot now okay that's an issue this is really an issue because now i have to take care that i'm like changing uh, not this here i want to take care of this like no budget i guess we're good with a hundred percent here because the coverage should be totally fine um even the electricity should be something that's working with a hundred percent like the medical center we have to go back okay it's level five level five uh probably yeah I'm thinking about raising these taxes to 11% as well those to 13 and I'm also thinking about this here and recreation mm, schools out let me see prefer ferries okay Um, I think I will try that for now. If that improves, let me see. Yeah, it improves a lot. It gives me way more income. And since my citizens in this town are either forced to take a walk or to go by public transportation, it's easy. That's really an easy one. So now I can see that no longer offering public transportation. Um, actually, I'm earning a lot more money than I did before. Um, so probably I should have done that sooner, but as you can see, a couple of uh, citizens are leaving the town, but I'm sure well, they will come back over time, uh, for sure, because my town is still attractive and just because of the fact that I'm charging them for um, public transportation won't change a lot. So currently I do have a really high demand in residential zones so that's what I'm about to add in my town because it's something I definitely have to um, yeah use and I'm actually 
absolutely happy about that. Mm. Because it finally gives me the opportunity to add in more like more residential zones as I've needed them so urgently I would like to say because um, the demand hasn't been that high since quite a while but things do change in city skylines and this is actually really good for the development of my town so straight line over there then I can add in high density residentials over here. And add in a couple of offices. Um, just because of the fact that offices are not really bothered by um, commercial zones or by the noise commercial zones might cause. So I'm adding in these just to make sure that my residents are not really worried about the commercial zones in my town. Just want to check whether they get enough water. Yes, they do. So, well, I'd like to say thanks for watching again. Um, many, many things happened in this episode, actually. Um, I added in a couple of landmarks. I extended this area to currently a public transportation only part of town. Um, so this is something I'm kind of proud about so far. Um, as I already said, I would be really happy about your comments and your thoughts about it. Because if you want me to change this, if you want to connect, have me connecting this to the highway, um, yeah, just let me know and I'll add it in. But currently I'm happy with a public transportation only area of town. Um, yeah, so... I'd like to thank you for joining me again in on my YouTube channel. And I'm Ben, building Westfield for you here in my Let's Play sessions. And if you like these, please consider leaving me a like on this video, bookmark, uh, bookmarking my channel, and leave me a comment or any recommendation, I'd be really happy about that. Thanks a lot and have a good one. Bye bye.